There are some properties in Green Country that fall into more than one jurisdiction. For instance, a home in Osage County that gets its water from the city of Tulsa. Two News anchor Russ McCaskey says that's the case for one man who's struggling with a water issue, and he called the problem solvers for help. This property is mine. It uh, runs to my sister's fence line over there, which is approximately 200 feet. Dan Burris's family has lived near 53rd and Rosedale Avenue since the 80s. It's Osage County, but it's close enough to Tulsa they get water from the city of Tulsa. They have three homes on the property, all occupied by family members. Dan's father recently died. Now they're dividing the property and the utilities. The problem is all three homes get their water from one water meter. They say they need three water meters. Yes, that's what we're after was three separate water taps to be able to meter the water to each house individually. Dan says it would make sense to run two new taps to the current water line that runs up Rosedale. But he says the city of Tulsa has a different idea. The water department would like us to continue a main water line to the bridge, which is in a floodplain. And that would cost Dan about $100,000, money he can't afford. And while it's still in limbo, Dan came to the Two News Pop-Up Problem Solvers event, hoping we could help. We took the issue to the city of Tulsa. They say it's against their ordinances to run pipes across another person's property to tap into a water line. But they did say they will look into the matter again. Dan's just hoping city leaders will grant him an exemption so that the water can be properly metered. That was Russ McCaskey reporting. Now the two news problem solvers will certainly continue to follow this story for you.